Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, June 2nd, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos and my portfolio and all my trades are available in the link down below. So let's go and start by looking at the WTI oil. Uh, first of all, we are making still within uh, this channel here. We have this uh, triple bottom here that we basically are most likely going to test within the next uh, few trading days as we are running in towards the top of this channel. So at this current stage, we have been breaking down, rallying, breaking down, rallying. And at this current stage, it most likely will be that we'll test yet again the bottom here of this range. So we need to break below the 20 simple moving average, the 50 moving average, and then towards this bottom, which should be roughly, give or take, $104 to $106 range. So we tested 116. We did get rejected quite heavily there. We also got rejected heavily yet again today. And uh, that kind of tells me that we need to build enough momentum if we need to break above 116 and go towards 125 and so on. So pullbacks should, it kind of makes sense that we'll pull back. Uh, question is whether or not we pull back all the way towards this port, um, this channel or towards the 20 or 50 moving average. If you look at technical English, we can see the MACD is uh, bullish, the stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. To the downside, if we break below here, and then the 200 moving average will most likely come into play. But first, we need to basically break below these bottom in order to go lower. And considering that China is reopening and um, and there is just going to be less oil in the world economy as well to the war in in Eastern Europe. And then this will most likely just continue. If the world economy goes into recession, then this may fall off a cliff, but then we're basically talking about weeks and months and not days. So let's look at the natural gas. And this has completely recovered after this terrible drop uh, yesterday. And yet again, it's the 20 simple moving average. So this market has rallied, 20 simple moving average tested, rallied, then we dropped towards the 50, rallied yet again towards the 20, and yet again towards the 20. So at this point, it looks like we are doing another rally up towards the highs, which is at a tree, roughly 9.3 to 9.5. Uh, if we look at the technical in indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So at some point, this market is going to tumble. It, um shouldn't be here uh, well, uh, at all if we didn't have the war in eastern europe uh, then this market would be all the way down here roughly at four probably much lower than that so so um if there is some kind of news regarding uh, that uh, supply to europe from from russia for example will continue then this market will mostly tumble and uh, tumble very quickly. And at this current stage, it is still building up, even though there is technically no reason for this time of year for this to basically rally uh, as if it was October, November, or December. So, I hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new, newest videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.